Good morning. This is the ramblings of an Indisciplined Mind podcast for Wednesday, December 9th, 2015. So, no fog this morning. I can see the rising sun a little bit. We might actually get some blue sky today. Yesterday, to be fair, we did not have fog, but it was just gray. Typical gray, Michigan, winterish skies. But today it's looking like it's it's uh, shaping up to be to maybe be a nice looking day. Nice orange sky off to the east. So I'm hopeful we'll get some nice weather. That would be cool. I'm looking ahead to uh, the end of the week. Friday I have off. I'm also Friday night. I'm going to take my last exam for the finance class. And that will finish up the fall semester for me. For all my classes. So... I'm, I'm doing some studying for that. It's open book, open whatever, because I'm taking it online, but I'm still trying to, to bone up a little bit on that, so I'm looking forward to that quite a bit. Well, I'm not looking forward to doing the test. I'm looking forward to being done with the test. Put it that way. Let's be clear. Let me be perfectly clear on that. The other thing that... Uh, Yesterday, at one point, I got on the Walsh website, and just for chuckles, I was checking out details about application for graduation, because I know before the spring semester, which is the one that starts like in April or in the March or something like that, I have to apply for graduation. But what I found out was that the, the deadline for applying for graduation is February 1st. So, that's not that far off. I mean, that means i got to be doing that next month. Which is, which is, you know, at one point, it's like, oh, okay, I can't, I can't, you know, afford to let that slide. i got to be, you know, paying attention to this. But it's also like, oh, my gosh, I get to apply for graduation in about a month. <laughs> that feels really good. I really feel like I really feel like uh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting closer and closer to that light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, and I cannot wait to be done. I just cannot wait. So yeah, it's kind of a looking ahead kind of day. Kind of, or you know, kind of a couple days. One of the things I did, um, I guess it was last night. So last, not last night. This is Monday. No, Monday night. I'm losing track of what the days are. Is I finished up my last editing pass on the Simon Snuffleburger book. I don't think I said that right, but whatever. Um, and got that sent off to the wife for editing. And I, um, I actually pulled that into Scrivener for future edits. And then I went and, and imported into Scrivener Wayward Time. So I'm ready. Once this, probably once December is over to start doing my edits on that. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, the import for Scrivener worked pretty well. I could get it to split up. Um, they've got this thing called import and split, and you can give it a you can give it a I don't know what the, what the phrase is you can give it a um, a string that you want it to break to split split the, the manuscript up on 
And you know, so I exported Wayward Time from Y Rider. And so chapters have, you know, chapter one, chapter two, and then scene breaks have got like pound signs between them. And you know, the import for Scrivener only has one criteria to break it on. It would actually be kind of nice, you know, because if you know, Scrivener has got this ability, you know, to break. So, so the way I structured um, Symphony of Death within Scrivener is you can have folders and then folders within folders and then text files within folders. So I broke up that book into, I think it's like eight sections. So I had seven movements of the symphony, I had an intermission, I had an epilogue, which was the uh, encore. And then within that, I had a folder, so each of those was a folder, and then within each of those, each individual chapter was a folder. And then within each chapter, I had one or more scenes, typically more than one. And so it would be nice on an, from an import level to be able to do the same thing. And you really can't do that. So what you could do with it, so what I did was I told it to split on the word chapter. So that basically got me each chapter into its own text file, all within the main manuscript <clears throat> folder. And what it appears you can do, I haven't tried it yet, but it looks like you can you can place your cursor at a, at a particular point and say split at this point, and I, I'm assuming it would split that text file into two at that point. Uh, so what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll manually, as I'm doing the editing, as I get into each chapter, I'll stick it in a folder, and then I can give the chapter a name. And and then as I hit the scene breaks, I'll do the split option. So I'll end up coming out of that with the scenes separated within the folders that, that represent the chapters. So it would have been nice if that could have been a little bit more automatic. You know, maybe if it had, um, you know, had, you know, here's your chapter break string and here's your section break string and then it could have done that for me automatically like that would be kind of nice I actually want to um, look on the uh, forum for Scrivener on the literature and latte side I believe it's called and see if they've got a suggestion um, a place to put suggestions in for future revisions of Scrivener because you know there, there are some things like that that I think would be that I think would be nice um, for when you're importing other works in. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm I'm looking ahead. I'm looking ahead. But it is Wednesday, and I think that's all I'm going to talk about today. Uh, I will be um, back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So. Be seeing you.